welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Yaesu FT3D. Now this radio has been loaned to me by Moonwaker here in the UK so that I could just create this video and, and generally have a, have a look around it. Now, I must say, uh, first glances of this radio, it is pretty impressive. The fact is that it has a touch screen, which is absolutely brilliant. It allows you to then type in a frequency directly if uh, if you want to and you can also switch modes and switch bands at a touch of a button now the FT3D is a 2 meter and 70 centimeter dual band handheld. It does 5 watts on C4FM and on FM as well. The screen is a 320 by 240 full color TFT LCD display and it's touch screen. It also supports APRS at 1200 and 9600 BPS. Now looking at the hardware itself on the left hand side we have a nice PTT button, we have a money call button and we have a button dedicated dedicated for squelch if you tap it you can then use the top thumb wheel to turn and adjust the squelch the power button is conveniently down on the left hand side now on the right hand side of the radio we have two little flaps that we can uh, remove one has the speaker mic connection and the power and the one at the top is for entering a micro SD card or a USB cable, presumably, if you want to program the radio. Unfortunately, I don't have the programming software or programming cable today, so I'm not able to show that in this particular video, but I may be able to do that in another video. Now, as mentioned before, this has 5 watts RF power output. It's selectable between 5 watts, 2.5 watts, 1 watt, and 0.3 watts. So it's great if you want to use this for a hotspot around the home. It's really good. It also supports C4FM digital V and D mode, uh, voice FR mode, data FR mode, and the conventional FM mode. You get 700 milliwatts of audio output power from the speaker, so you get a real nice crisp and clean quality audio. It's got dual band simultaneous receive, so you can receive uh, on the top and on the bottom one. It has a built-in Bluetooth unit, so it's gonna be great for easy hands-free operation. There's also a band scope feature as well. Now the band scope is uh, uh, what you'd probably normally see on the like higher end HF rigs. And it has another new feature called CAM, which is called Club Channel Activity Monitor. That's another new feature from Yesu. This also supports System Fusion 2 and it's compatible with AMS, DGID and the smart navigation functions. Obviously it also supports YSX for portable digital node compatibility and it has a built-in 66 channel high sensitivity GPS receiver. You can see that I'm using this indoors and it's locking to the GPS satellites and giving me a correct reading. It also has a voice recording feature so that you can record the received and the transmitting voice audio. It also has a built-in timer, so you can have it so it auto powers off. And it also has an IPX5 rating for water protection. Now in the box, you'll get the antenna, you'll get a 7.2 volt, 2,200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. You'll also get the battery charger, belt clip, USB cable, and obviously the operating manual. Now one of the other good things about this radio is that it has a massive wideband receive so it covers the AM broadcast band, the shortwave listening band, uh, the 50 megs ham band, air band, even your normal 76 to 108 FM broadcast. Now that's a, a, along with your um, 2 meter ham band, your 70 centimeters and even up to 999.9 megahertz as well. There is some gaps, it's not continuous between the whole lot. If you want to know more exactly what it can receive, you can go and have a look at the specification on the Yesu website. Now the weight of the FT3D is about 282 grams. Now another feature I wanted to show you on here was the YSX feature. I'm just connecting here to my open spot two and using the touch panel, I can literally just press search. I can type in the first few characters of a YSF reflector that I want to uh, look for and connect to. Hit enter, it'll go off, it'll communicate with my open spot two. It will bring back a list of the available YSF reflectors and then I can then touch it and it will connect to it. Now obviously I'm connecting to an open spot too. Uh, you can do the same with a hotspot uh, and you can also obviously do the same when you're connected to a fusion repeater to you know a YSX repeater. It will come back with all of the YSX rooms. 
you can then just scroll through the list, uh, find the one that you want to, and then tap on it. So while it was connected up to my open spot too, I connected to the UK Hubnet and I had a quick chat with one of my friends, Peter, G7RPG. Uh, let's have a little listen to that. It's a good few minutes of it. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, it's an FT3D. Um, I've got it on loan um, to uh, to make a video. And in fact, I'm actually recording the video right now and uh, or recording a section for the video. So uh, this will be posted later up on the YouTube channel. So um, yeah, I've got it on loan from Moonraker, and um, they've uh, they've let me uh, have a play around with it while I uh, <laughs> while I make a video. But I tell you what, I've only had it. I've only just got home, and um, uh, yeah, I've been playing with it for about twenty minutes, and yeah, it's an awesome radio. <laughs> It has it has some really good features. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously I'm coming in via the I'm coming in via the fusion uh, uh, by the YSF uh, uh, reflector into Hubnet. Um, so I don't know if there's an issue there at all, but uh, I can hear you 100 percent, Peter. Yeah, no problem at all. Oh, no, I'm on DMR talking to you now. So this is Ambi too. So uh, this should be. Uh sound pretty much well, exactly the same as you, basically. I'll have a listen to you on here. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'll look forward to seeing the video. Uh, I don't know, uh, Stuart M0WTX has uh, just got his name down on the, uh, the list for one of those when they become available. So I'm sure we'll be hearing uh, quite a bit about them in due course. Um, but yeah, all good on the YSF reflector. Yeah, well that's, uh, that's interesting. Uh, works very well then. Um, anyway, could just be one of those things. Uh, back to you, see how you copy me. Uh, this is G7RPG. G7RPG M0DQW. Yeah, 100 there. You can tell that it's DMR. There's a slight tone difference <laughs> between Fusion and, uh, and and DMR. But uh, uh, with DMR, your call sign actually comes up on the screen, which is uh, quite good. Actually, do you know what? I didn't even realise that it would be sending my location to APRSIF. I've just had a APRSFI. I just had a quick look, and it's actually um, M zero DQW dash <laughs> seven. The um, the APRS that I put on my open spot is slightly not at my location <laughs> to kind of try and conceal where I live. But obviously, this uh, this handheld has. Uh, has just plonked me exactly onto FI. <laughs> M0DQW-7 is the SSID, and that is, that, that's coming from the handheld. There's nothing else that I've got that's transmitting. So obviously it's coming through the open spot. 
So there we go guys, this is a uh, brief overview of the brand new Yaesu FT3D which has been loaned to me from Moonraker. I believe it's going to be released uh, this week so uh, get your pre-orders in, uh, just uh, pop over to moonraker.eu and uh, you can uh, get yourself on the list to get one of these uh, excellent handhelds. Now this video was purely just about uh, kind of giving you a brief overview and so you could see up close and in good quality of, of, uh, of what the radio looks like and, and what it can do by no means is what I've covered in this video a full feature list this radio can do so much more uh, and assuming that I can get my hands on one again for, for a decent amount of time then maybe we'll create some uh, some user guides or or some really cool videos and showing some of these features I, I really like the fact that that it broadcasts your, your location while you're transmitting uh, I think that's really good and obviously you can go and look yourself up on APRS.FI and I, I think that'd be really good for uh, you know for search and rescue and uh, and uh, rainnet and uh, different types of applications like that okay well i hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one take care and i'll see you then